Hello, my Gemini's. This is Gemini Soul. And Gemini's, when I was in you guys' energy for Hum Day Wednesday, all I could feel was that someone is regretting the loss of a relationship. The loss of the relationship that you had with them. That you've done so much growth and learning on your, like, you've learned what relationships are, how to give and take, how to accept what it is that no longer serves you, how to release it, how to move forward, how to stand still. You know, you just learn so much, Gemini. I feel that you walked away from so many relationships that was not working out for you. But there is a Pacific person, Gemini, that is truly missing you at this time. Could be several, all right? So I'm just guided to pull some messages here from the hidden truth from this person. So this person says, we will be together again. Gemini, this person is delirious, okay? Because I truly did not feel that in your energy. That you were giving people second chances. I could be wrong. Because that could have been for a couple. Maybe some actually was waiting on a second chance or someone to come around. And they may give them a second chance. But the Geminis I'm connecting with, if they do give you a second chance, then you will definitely have to show up for the connection. There will be no games played. Okay, there will be no games played, all right? What else is this person that is truly missing Gemini want to say? I wish things could be different. Gemini, they wish they can go back in time. They wish that they could go back in time and fix this situation with you. They wish... They had not did the things that they did that deceived you in the past. They wish they had stood up for the connection and fought for it a little bit longer. I look for you everywhere. This person, Gemini, is so in their head they see pictures, people, things, and situations that remind them of the relationship you guys share. Whether it's a couple walking and holding hands, or it's a beautiful woman well put together, or, or a handsome man well put together, they look at everything that reminds them of some part of you of what you brought to the connection or how you showed up in this connection that they're regretting. We need to let each other go. In their mind, that's exactly what they felt needed to happen, to have their freedom, to be able to do what it is they needed to do. So they had to deceive you and not tell you the truth and tell you the things that was going on with them. And so they chose to walk away and not put in the effort to work on this relationship and take it elsewhere with someone else that would deal with the lower vibe energies. Male or female, it doesn't matter. I want to be more than friends. Gemini, you didn't friend, you didn't friend it. You may not even friend it, but they want to be more than friends. Maybe you've had a conversation with this person, Gemini, and told them, we could be friends, we cool, but we cannot have a relationship. We cannot start things over. Basically, there's nothing to start over because we never had nothing in the beginning. Now that I've done the healing and know who I am and my work, I realize that what we had was never nothing. That's what I just heard. Gemini, they say you were the best thing in my life, this person has had a complete awakening of who you are, Gemini. All right? This person has had a complete awakening here on Hump Day Wednesday. Okay? <laughs> For 
Oh, it's the 8th through the 15th. No, no, sorry, guys. September the 8th through the 15th. Yeah. Maybe it happened August 8th. Maybe you were going through something with them back in August. Or maybe they started their transition in August. I don't know. And I could have just said the dates wrong. Gemini. Hmm. Yeah. You got the world card in reverse and then the lovers. This person, you won't even let them travel towards you to see you. Because they say we'll be together again and the world card is in reverse under that, okay? The world card is in reverse. Like, no, you will not be traveling to come and see me. No, thank you, right? <laughs> because you already know their ways. You've already worked on understanding what this relationship situation was. You got the lovers under, I wish things could be different. Gemini, they ain't got nothing but love for you. I feel that this person will always love you, but they love you now, not then. They And if they did, they couldn't show it. But now, they have nothing but love for you, Gemini. You showing up in your reading. And says, I wish things could be different. I know, Gemini, you like, I know you do, but it can't. It can't be different because now I'm loving on myself. Now I'm knowing my worth. Now I know what I want. Now I know what I will not accept. Now I know what I've went with through in the past, and I refuse to go through it again. I've learned those lessons, and I've ended those cycles and closed those doors. That's what I'm hearing you say, Gemini. I look for you everywhere. Gemini said, I know you was looking for me everywhere, but the wheel was over there turning in my favor so you couldn't find me. <laughs> so I was on the wheel, and while you was looking, every time you got to one section of the wheel, I was healing in another section. So that's why you couldn't find me, because I was working on me. That's what you said, Gemini. Uh-huh. <laughs> The Empress. Mm -hmm. We need to we need to let each other go. And you said you were absolutely right. Because me being the Empress, I have too much to offer. So absolutely not. I can't be with you. You're right. We need to let each other go. Now they had a different meaning back then. Because they wanted to be deceptive and play the field or not be committal, or emotionally not available towards you, or want to share your life and put in an equal give and take and build and understand that life was more than just games, right? That you really truly wanted to build something and you really did love them and was nourishing them with all of your abundance and prosperity and really wanted to grow something with them and if it was a marriage you put everything you had in there and all they cared about was their freedom to be free to do whatever it is that they wanted to do and the only way they could do it was we needed to let each other go and you, you oh it hurt gemini that hurt that hurt real bad because you had put in the work a empress don't play, right? A empress knows what they worth is, knows what they want. And this person didn't see you as an empress at the time. They just thought you just feel good paying all the bills or nourishing them and taking care of them or trying to build and become abundant and, and just get that scholar or get that law degree or whatever job it is that probably would put you as close as to whatever figures you was making, right? It was more figures than they was putting to the pot. And if they were making as much as you, they was not showing up for the connection to build and invest as much as you were. I want to be more than friends. Now, 
they want their old friend back. More so lover, wife, commitment. And Gemini, you like, no, I'm waiting on my ship to come in. And that's not the ship that you will be in. Three of Wands. I've made my decision. I'm turning my back on that. Because I'm waiting for an offer way much bigger, better, that understands my worth. Someone who doesn't have secret. Not running around with all kind of secrets trying to keep me up in my head about what's really going on in a relationship, how to equally give and take, or was they really coming towards me or not, right? There was a lot of unknown things in this relationship that you wasn't aware of, Gemini. Let's see what other messages we got. What else we got on this world card in reverse? Hmm. Seven of Swords in reverse. This person is like, I'm no longer the liar, cheating, stealing, conniving person that you thought I was. We will be together again because I've changed my ways. I'm just telling you what the person is saying, Gemini. You take it how it resonates. I wish things could be different, but then you got you, Gemini, standing in your power saying things won't be different, honey. They may be different in your life, for you, in your direction. But they are different, and they're different for me in my life. But it's my life, not our life. And we is not an option anymore. <laughs> yeah. They was like, but I want you. And I know what I want. And I want to come towards you and build with you. And Gemini, you like already built what you will be coming in to bring in to help build, as you say, wouldn't be enough to satisfy me. I'm sorry. I looked for you everywhere with this wheel card, Gemini. What was your response? Oh, I was out searching the world, my new beginning. I was on my new path. That's why you couldn't find me, because I had chose me and no longer you. We need to let each other go. And then the Empress underneath. Gemini, what do you have to say about that? Gemini. <laughs> Gemini say, I am who I am. So above is below. I manifest myself right on to my new beginning of knowing who I am and that I'm the Empress. And we need to let each other go now. <laughs> Gemini, you coming back with they words too? Oh, you are absolutely right. And I manifest my way right on about this relationship. You are correct. We need to let each other go. <laughs> You are so correct. I, if you've ever been right before, you were right now. You may not have been right then, but you're definitely right now. That's what I heard. I want to be more than friends. Three of Wands. Jimmy and I waiting on the ships to come in. <laughs> Jimmy say not. Jimmy, Jimmy say not in this time. Mm mm. <laughs> you won't steal my sunshine away. I told you I'm at the dock waiting for my happiness to come in and you you not included this person been enlightened they've been enlightened and he like even if it's you jim now you like i will sit here and hang by my feet until that ship gets here because i see everything gemini and your power logically i know where my happiness begins and I know where it's going to end when that ship get here. I will sit here and hang man mode at the dock or whatever. Because I know at the end, I know exactly what's coming in for me. This is the only thing I'm waiting on. And it ain't. We will not. No, we can't be friends. No, I don't even deal with friends' energy. I'm looking for so much more. I'm looking to be happy. I'm looking for what's mine, what I manifest, what I've been waiting on, what I manifest, what I was... Look, no. 
I am waiting for my manifestation. And the reason I'm doing that because I'm the empress and I deserve everything that the universe has for me. I deserve happiness. I deserve to be the most happiest empress I can possibly be. And it does not include you. And that's what I just heard. That's what I heard, Gemini. You go on with your manifesting self. On oh, hum day Wednesday. So Gemini. Ooh. Oh no, that's right. Gemini say, I ain't got nothing but love for you though. As you take your victory lap. <laughs> you see me? And Gemini, they see you. They see you all on the social media laughing, looking good, smelling good. Working, having a good job, house, car, doing it all on your own. And you don't even have to take pictures of yourself because they just snap pictures for you. They snapping it for you. And you know why? It, it, it is so conflicted. This is the outside. This is the people just conflicted. These are the low vibe energies you left behind. Maybe several relationships that they out there fighting with they self now. They ain't fighting with you. They just fighting with they self, Gemini. Because they know that you are now the queen of swords. And you will not accept anything less than what you deserve, Gemini. And they can come and try and talk to you if you want to. They can try if they want to. But I think you got something for them if they come the wrong way. But I think you're going to be very peaceful. Yes, yeah, see? Because you still... Who you are. The queen of pentacles. You're like, I got both sides to me here. Now, I keep them both pulled like holsters. You know what I'm saying? Now, it depends on where you come. You know, how you arrive to this door. How I'm going to respond. <laughs> how I'm going to respond. But you're not going to get this nourishing energy. Right? Only those that deserve it will get that. But otherwise, I will stand out front, in front of my soul, heart, and mind, ready to cut down anything that feels it wants to deceive me or is low vibe and is not on my level and do not understand that I want prosperity and abundance. I want to build and I want to be able to share. I have all the love and prosperity that I could share with someone. But I'm going to ensure they deserve it this time. It won't come easy. This time, you go through this other Gemini first. Okay? First, you go through this cold Gemini right here. And once you go through that Gemini, right, then you can move forward. And if so, that Gemini will let you back to that nourishing part of me to let you into my life. Okay? Okay? Yeah, Gemini, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. You have learned the lessons. And over the next week, you're going to have to have your, your guards up, okay? But you ain't got no problem with that because you already know what's coming in. Yeah, there's some people going to come in and want to give you that truth bomb and tell you how, how guarded you is and the right thing to do about you. And you're going to give them that truth bomb back, right? <laughs> you're going to give them that truth bomb right back because you're sitting there waiting because you know they coming. And they know they think they come into that nourishing side. You know the one where they can manipulate you and bring you down to their level and make you feel sorry for them and accept them back and they made mistakes and all that. They don't know that's not that they they not even fit they not even finna even see the Queen of Pentacles, okay? That is the man behind the curtain. All right. First you must get through this king this Queen of Swords, right? I hope I didn't say king because I did have a king out here. First, you must get past, right? First, you must get past the Queen of Swords before you can even talk to the Queen of Pentacles, honey. And you definitely, the, the, the Empress, she, this, this ain't, she, she ain't nowhere to be found. You got all of them out here, Gemini. Now you got the Nine of Pentacles. Look at this. Gemini, you, this is you protecting everything you got. This is you protecting it all. This is you protecting your peace, your harmony, your abundance, your prosperity. You're protecting it all. And first, they have to stop and see 
the queen of swords. And then you will decide who comes up next. If there is a next. Otherwise, off with their head. <laughs> off with their head. And you are totally ready. So those ones that's finna come up here and call theyself gonna give you some truth bomb about yourself. They better be careful. And the reason they doing that is because they've been stalking and watching. Seeing where you at, what you're doing, thinking you're making more money, how you building, what business you open up, how you got that new car, how you got that house, are you seeing someone? Yeah, this page been running back telling everything, and now they want to come and try and tell you about they self of how they stuck and missing you. And Jim and I like, look, I'm balanced. I wish I could help you, but I can't. It took a lot for me to get the yin and the yang balance. So I'm probably not really stable right now. You might want to keep it moving. <laughs> and Jim and I, I think this is absolutely beautiful. Let's see what type of soul journey we got here, Jim and I. What do the spirit guys want to tell you from the soul's hope? From the soul's journey. What is the closing message for Gemini for hump day Wednesdays for this soul's journey? What we got? <laughs> relationships, Gemini. I just told you. They coming in. These people even have these relationships, family, friends, whatever. They see, they see you like this, Gemini. And they feel that, like, you need to talk to them about it. Tell them how you got it. What you plan to do with it? Can they be part of it? So get ready for some conversations, Gemini. <laughs> Under the bottom is death. Gemini like, <laughs> Gemini like I told them. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, off with their head. <laughs> off with their head. I done went and worked on myself and went through this transformation to get where I'm at. And everything that I would work for and gained. Rather, it's the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, the Nine, the, nine, the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. I will not let anyone come in here and disturb my peace. I got too much balance going on right now. Too much balance. And I'm going to put a death to any of that behavior that comes my way. That does not show up in its truth or comes in to tell me. Like you're going to tell me the truth about myself. It won't end good. Be careful, Gemini. Don't let them throw you off guard. All right? Or throw you off balance. Because you got all this balance. All this is under control. All your manifestations is coming in. Gemini, something beautiful is going to happen for you over the next week. I feel it. Whether it's someone that you finally get closure from, you get some type of... Something that's going to really and truly make you happy. This sun card is here because something is coming in that's going to truly make you happy. And even if it's just you feeling good about yourself of how far you've come. And maybe even just the people that will be showing up that's so conflicted within themselves and trying to figure out how you just became... Of victory and happiness and abundant and prosperity without their help. They don't understand how you did it without them. Like you were codependent on them maybe at some point in time. Or they was codependent on you. And they just don't get it. But that was divine coming in. They were meant to see you show up like that in all your glory. That was their karmic. That was th that karmic being paid back to them. Okay. So, Gemini, that is what I have for you for Hump Day Wednesday for um, September the 8th through the 15th. Love and light, and I will see you guys on your next reading. Bye, Gemini.